Well, the night before uh, the eve of uh, the picture of the editor rang me from Belfast, he says, "Paul, look, I hope you're, uh, I hope you're really nervous. This is important. This is a global uh, picture that you're going to be taking." And I said, "Look, I'm halfway down a bottle of wine. I don't know what suit to wear." And he was in a real panic. He says, "You need to be on your game for this." I says, "Look, it's a handshake." I says, "I've done hundreds, thousands of handshakes over my career." I says, "Look, I'll, I'll, I'll come together all right." More people were nervous about this than I was, um, but I finally got the call. He said, "I was at Stramillis at uh, the Arts Council." Uh, or the art centre. Um, so I arrived down there and I was walked in straight away. All other media were sort of kept outside, out, out of sight of the front door. Uh, and a few of the security officials in advance, uh, party that would come ahead of the Queen to sweep the building, who I would know these guys from various other visits, uh, cottoned on. I was the only one taking the picture. And he says, there's no pressure. I can't say the language that they use. He says, you're not getting a second chance to do this. He says, you've got to get it right. I hope you've got film in your camera, you know, your batteries are... And then the more people come at me, I kept checking myself, you know, checking the back of the camera, cameras, lenses, everything was working okay. So finally, the Queen arrived downstairs and we were upstairs and we knew she was going to come up and walk through uh, an art exhibition. Uh, and she came in through, led by Peter Robinson at the time, the First Minister. And Martin McGuinness uh, stayed behind with Prince Philip which wasn't working for me. So it was only myself and the Royal Camera Crew. Um, as they walked along the paintings, it was always uh, Peter Robinson and the Queen. In the back of my mind, is because this was the only option we had apparently, is, this wasn't working. There wasn't going to be a handshake and the two of them weren't together. So as they got closer to me, I noticed there was a, like a table with some sort of ornament on it and Martin McGuinness was still behind. And I caught his eye and I'd sort of come forward, you know, which he did. He sort of looked at me and he came forward beside the Queen and Peter Robinson and they started chatting. So I had the two of them together or thereabouts and then they walked on out. And then that was that. And I said, look, what about this handshake? He said, well, there's going to be a, uh, a departure downstairs. Because I didn't know how they already met and had a handshake. So we went downstairs and there was a lineup going to be there. And we practiced with a few other people. It was just myself and the cameraman. Uh, sure enough, Peter Robinson and Mark McGuinness and the rest of the entourage came out through. And... Uh, a few minutes later, we were quite tight. Uh, I said, guys, you can't move us. We have to be in tight for this here. There's only one go at this. Uh, the Queen came round the corner, looked, met the first guy, met Peter Robinson, and straight to Martin McGuinness, um, the handshake. And it's the longest handshake I think I've actually shot. I actually timed it, I think it was around about four seconds. And four seconds for a handshake is quite long. Uh, so we had plenty of frames of that there, and it was perfect. Uh, really, really nice. And the Queen met the other couple of people and left, and that was it. And then we turned around and walked up the stairs and Martin McGuinness says, well, that's it done. You know, and I left and uh, I went upstairs and immediately started sending the pictures into London uh, to the office. Various crops of the, the exact same thing. Every frame looks similar because it was almost static. Um, and I drove over to Stormont Hotel uh, where I uh, walked in there and everybody was in the restaurant. And this, my picture was there. The Queen shaking hands with Martin McGuinness. It was really unreal, and everybody was, you know, talking. Oh, you know, that, that's just happened. I didn't realise I was actually the one who had done it, you know. So it was a bit of a pat in the back for me. It was a nice one to do.